Hey everyone, so we're gonna go over the new segment dungeon. Pretty much every time we get a new witch, a uh, festival witch, uh, we get the dungeon that correlates with them, as well as a free memory that we can use. We get two types of the memory. We get the memory we get by beating every stage, as you see here. Then we get a memory by beating a certain challenge on the last stage down here. The challenge this time around is have three Amelia camp units on your team. I think a majority of the witch dungeons have that same challenge. I felt like they used to change it up, but then they were like, nah, let's just keep it Amelia camp. <laughs> at, le at least I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, I ended up using this team. Uh, Super, Super Trees, hardcore carries here. The, the memory isn't too big of a deal. Uh, let me see. I don't even know what the passive does. Uh, the defense is just nice, though. The other characters I kind of just threw on just to have. Like Bride Elsa, obviously is not like a is like a terrible pick. Let me see. Oh, I just have a hundred percent chance of auto recovering for one turn. Yeah, so it's just healing at the beginning of a battle. It's not too big a deal. I think it's the buff too, which gets like deleted right away. I know I could be wrong. I did end up doing it on my first try, and it, it, it was on. All, all of it was on auto, I believe. So, so yeah, it's not too hard. We're going to do a quick run through just mainly because I kind of forget how the battles play out. So I, <clears throat> I forget what kind of stuff you have to avoid. So yeah, <clears throat> sorry, keep coughing. Yeah, so the auto recovery doesn't even matter. matter she <laughs> cancels recovery. So yeah, she has the damage over time. She has a bunch of buffs and debuffs. It looked pretty bad for me at first, but like honestly, Super Truce carries so hard here. Uh, you do have to face against Halloween Betty, Roz, and then Summer Ram. Or Ram. It's not too big a deal. It looks like they apply attack down uh, large, so that's pretty annoying. Uh, you also have to, again, be aware of the damage over time field effect every time you're getting a turn. Uh, you are getting hit by that damage over time, so you want to make sure that you have some constant healing applied. The, uh, the anti-healing, though, debuff right here on the top right. I don't know if that blocks healing. I don't think that blocks healing, because obviously I think I'm still healing. I, it just blocks the, the debuff from getting applied to your team, which isn't... Or the buff getting applied. Yeah, you, so you can still heal. Oh, well, the field effect is gone, so who knows, but... Yeah, either way. Uh, Super Trees kind of lags out the screen a lot uh, she doesn't go through invincibility which is pretty annoying but Elsa's popping off I guess <laughs> yeah I don't know how this team did it it's not the best team I literally just threw it together you can probably beat it with most teams super trees again hard carrying she can pretty much one shot them almost <clears throat> and uh yeah so I would say like as long as you have like a coherent team you'll be fine uh, the, the Raw's passive can be annoying, but you can really shut down Sekhmet, as you can see here. Um, and as long as you have a, a decent source of healing, and, you know, you just keep chaining stuff back, back to back to back. It might be a little rough, because on initial activation, she'll pop the field skill. But, like, if you're able to survive that initial burst from the enemy, like, you'll, you'll be fine going forward. Ram's almost dead. It'd be nice if I, they can kill before Roz's passive actives. Wait, there you go. Perfect. Plus, I think they had a uh, buff seal. So, buff seal is also really good. Obviously, look at all the debuffs that you can apply. Uh, there's plentiful, so it's not too hard. Uh, the boss, like the enemies, do have some solid kits, but they're they're not really immune to much. So, as long as you can just shut down a lot of the characters, you'll be okay. It, again, it's not too hard. Especially with Amelia Camp. Amelia Camp is probably the best camp in the game. They have the most units. You can definitely find a team somewhere in there. You know, I'm using Bride Elsa of all people. Even though I do have one of the best festivals. Um, IMO. On my team, hard carrying. I do think it's still doable, obviously, without them. So, yeah. It does take a while, though. Also, one thing, uh, if you want, you can try and go for clear conditions for autoing. Uh, I think I mentioned this last time we had a witch dungeon. The dungeons cost only one stamina, so you can kind of farm affinity. If that's like your thing, though, um, affinity doesn't really give you much. Uh, it might give you some of the bottles, the, the little ink bottles. I don't know if affinity counts for those, but you can potentially farm an uh, affinity like if you need, I think you need 10,000 runs or 10,000 stamina used 
in order to max out a character. So you can potentially, if you have 10,000 stamina, you just do this 10, like um, however many times, and then you just keep autoing over and over and over. <laughs> so yeah, um, I guess you would have to do it 10,000 times. Yeah, that's uh, how you want to play it. But yeah, every stamina is going to count for one affinity. So I don't know I mean, if that's just your thing. It's just, it's just something you can do. Um, but yeah, again, not too hard, not too not too bad. Then once you uh, beat it, the memory should be in this tab. Other than I think the ones per stage should just automatically go to your inventory. We'll take a look at what they do now. Um, let's see. They should be all the way at the bottom where all the other witches, witch memories are. Yeah, so I love the witch memories mainly because you can have like the normal versions and the flex versions. I love one thing this game uh, really did right that I love so much about it is the flex memories uh, like with the, the shiny border. It's basically just saying you put in a lot of work to get it, uh, it which is just one of my favorite parts about the game in general. So I, I don't know. I just like that a lot. All right, let me get my translator open. It looks like it's HP 31%, which is not bad, especially with two passives. Magic attack, witch, witch. Okay, the first one is a magic restriction, and the other two are witches. Which covers 20% of own HP, winning a turn. I don't know what winning a turn is, but I would assume just after the turn or as you get the turn, uh, you recover 20% HP. Uh, increase the action gauge by 40% at the start of battle. Ooh, that's good. That's a pretty good memory. Not bad. Um, I forgot what Sekhmet's memory does, so you would either have to fit that on another witch or uh, Sekhmet if her memory isn't all that good. Also, one thing I wanted to say, we keep getting felt tickets. I keep using them daily. I thought we were done, so I uploaded the video. I probably could have done a bigger video, <laughs> so sorry about that, uh, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's going to do it for the Sekhmet dungeon. Again, you change your speed all the stages like normal and then for the last stage you do have to hit that requirement for the three amelia camp units and that will allow you to get the flex memory that we just went over and um <clears throat> yeah that's it that's gonna do it for the video good luck and i'll see you guys next time later